Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Judy Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Today Cornish hens is on the menu at the Young's house and I'm so excited. When is the last time you all had a Cornish hen? This recipe is so much fun. It's so easy to make and listen here, it tastes so good. Here's what you're gonna need to make Gina Young style Cornish hens. You all never had these before? You better make you some. Okay, here are the ingredients. Of course, you're gonna need Cornish hens. I have the Cornish hens in the sink and I'll show you them when we wash our Cornish hens. Here's the ingredients. You're gonna need extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, parsley flakes, onion and garlic powder, lemon pepper seasoning, chicken seasoning, cracked black pepper, herbs de Provence, and Maggie Pollo. Okay, so that's all you're gonna need. And you're gonna need a baking dish. You wanna make sure you have a baking dish that is deep enough to catch the juices because these Cornish hens, they do let off some juice, okay? And so by putting them in a deeper pan, it's gonna help you to keep that juice locked in so that it doesn't spill all over into your oven. Let's make our way over to the sink. We have to clean up our Cornish hens. Okay, to clean our Cornish hens, we're going to put salt. Any kind of salt that you like to use would be just fine. This salt is going to serve as an abrasive and it's just going to help us to scrub these Cornish hens together and get them squeaky clean, okay? Now some of you might say, Gina, but is the salt going to make it salty? No, it's not because we're going to rinse it off. Now, if you wanted to use lemon or lime to clean your Cornish hens, by all means, absolutely you can. If I had a lemon or lime, that's what I would be using. But since I don't have it, what I'm going to use is apple cider vinegar. You can use regular vinegar or apple cider vinegar will do. This is gonna get it squeaky clean, okay? And what I like to do is, I like to rub the chickens rub them all and we rub them together okay just like this rub that salt on them like i said the salt serves as an abrasive rub your fingers on them just like so to get them squeaky clean now you may come across some fat the really light or white stuff there you can easily pull that off pull it off or you can take kitchen shears get rid of it you don't want to digest that okay so you want to turn it on the other side as well and you'll see fat just pull it off it comes off so simple and easy all right i'm going to continue to rub and scrub these just like so and rub the vinegar all over them and i'm going to take all of the unwanted fat parts off of the chicken that we don't want to digest now if you come across feathers if you come across any feathers what you can do is you can take a lighter and light the feathers until they burn off or you can just pluck them off like I'm doing just like so so then once you get all of your birds nice and clean make sure you have all of the unwanted pieces off of the bird any feathers like this get rid of it you want to give it a nice rinse and I like to rinse mine several times two or three times will do the trick Okay, and I might have to go in with my knife that I have here and pull off some of the pieces that I can't pull off with my fingers. Okay, but you look down in the cavity always. Look down in that cavity and pull out anything that shouldn't be in there. It looks like it shouldn't be belong there. Okay, you want to make sure when you cook these that they're not frozen. Okay, trying to cook them frozen will cause this to cook unevenly. Okay, so you always want to bring it home, make sure that it's thawed out before you cook it. What I love about Cornish hens, I absolutely adore that you can eat a whole Cornish hen by yourself. <laughs> really, you can. You can kind of pig out on that bad boy and not feel bad about it. 
you know a lot of people like to make these for the holiday and if you're one of those people that just have the holiday with yourself and maybe you know one of your kids or something like that then this right here is the recipe for you you know you don't want to make a full turkey breast or a full turkey you might want to invest in Cornish hens. Cornish hens is the way to go, especially for the holidays for those small families. They're so easy. You just kind of season them up, throw them bad boys into the oven, and voila. You know, really you do. And it's that simple. But I'm going to show you an amazing way how I like to season these. We're going to rub them down with oil. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to put the spices on, but I'm going to show you. We're not just going to shake that seasoning on. We're going to use oil on these birds to make them nice, beautiful, golden brown and crispy. Now we want to make sure when you're all done cleaning your Cornish hens that you wash your hands. And then you want to make sure you wash your sink. And then you want to make sure that you wash the sink handle. That way you don't transfer bacteria to anything else that you may touch, okay? Really quick and simple way to wash your birds. Nothing hard about anything that I ever make in this kitchen, and you all can do the same thing as well. Okay, everyone, so I've washed my hands, washed the sink and the handle of the faucet. Let's go ahead and make a spice blend. Now some of you might say, where do I find Herbs de Provence and I can't find the chicken seasoning that you're using? Don't worry about that. You use what spices you have in your cabinet that you love to use. Okay, if you have an Italian herb blend, use that salt and pepper, garlic powder, you know, parsley and maggi pollo, okay? Don't, don't stress out in the kitchen. If there's something that you don't have, don't worry about it. Things can always be substituted. So when I went out to the store, I just bought potatoes because I'm making mashed potatoes to go with this and I bought some green beans, okay? And then we're gonna have these on the side. So basically, only thing I bought was potatoes and Cornish hens and all of this stuff right here I already had in my cabinet. So now here's what we're gonna do. My hands are impeccably clean. We're going to take, let's scoot this aside for the time being. We're gonna take some olive oil. We're gonna put some into our bowl, okay? And we're gonna make a spice blend. And we are going to put the spices into the olive oil and we're gonna rub down these beautiful Cornish hens. You can do a turkey this way, you can do a chicken this way. It comes out so juicy, so golden brown and so flavorful. Trust me when I tell you this. I have a spice blend here. Okay, you can always use Mrs. Dash. This is a spice blend that one of my subscribers got me with the olive oils, and it's absolutely amazing, okay? We're gonna put some sea salt, just like so. And I believe I'm gonna use some sazon as well. Parsley flakes, gonna make it nice and beautiful. Don't be afraid to season things, guys. And I, I say it in every video, I just don't want you to be afraid to season because if you're that person that's afraid to season, your food will have no seasoning. Don't be that person. <laughs> Season the food. Only thing you have to worry about is that salt, okay? I'm gonna put some cracked black pepper in there. We're gonna put a nice amount. All right. We're gonna put some Maggi Pollo. Chicken bouillon flavor gives chicken amazing flavor. Chicken, turkey, Cornish hens. Absolutely. And then we're gonna use some Herbs de Provence. Like I said, if you have an Italian seasoning blend, use a little bit of that. A little bit of this goes a long way. And we're just gonna use that little bit right there, okay? And then we're just gonna stir everything. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna stir everything like this. If you wanted to put a quarter of a lemon inside of each cavity 
of the Cornish hen, you better believe you can. You can put celery and onions in the inside. You know, if you want it to have flavor there, you can. Okay, now that this is well blended, this is our seasoning. This is our seasoning. I'm gonna taste it. Oh yeah, mmm! You better believe that's gonna be good. My goodness, it tastes so amazing. And it was quick and simple, right? Quick and simple. Okay, let's bring this back into the equation. Now, I need to show you all, I've patted dry each Cornish hen. Each hen has the wings here, okay? And you don't want your wings to be flying away like this when you, you know, after they're baked. So you just take them and you push them back. Okay, you see that? Take it and push it back this way. And this is what it should look like on the behind side. Okay, just like so. All right, and the other ones are already done. Now what I'm gonna do, it's okay for me to touch this, okay? Because I'm gonna toss whatever's left, I'm gonna toss it out. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. My hands are impeccably clean. I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna rub this beautiful seasoning. Oh, you better believe I am. I'm gonna rub it all in every crevice. You can use a brush if you want it to, to paint that seasoning in there, or you can take your finger. See that little hole there between, see that hole there between the thigh and the leg? Take that seasoning, get it down in there, okay? And just push it down and work these beautiful seasonings all over your meat, okay? You wanna get all the crevices under the thigh or the wings. You wanna turn it over and do the back as well and get that seasoning all in the inside. And you have one beautifully seasoned bird that's gonna taste amazing, okay? And then the last thing we're gonna use is some sazon. Sazon will go on last, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in the inside of the cavity and on the top of the bird, okay? Just massage it. Don't be afraid to touch this meat, guys. Like, it's not nasty. And if you're that person that's a little squeamish, then it's okay, just use some gloves, okay? Just use some gloves. I'm gonna show you all how to make a whole turkey. It might be this month, but it might be in November. All the fixings that you all are gonna need for your holiday table, I'm gonna show you all how to make. And some of you might say, you showed us that the first year you started in 2017 and you showed us last year. Well, you know what? I'm gonna show you again <laughs> because I have new subscribers and not everybody goes through the playlist to see those other videos. You know, some people just wait on the next video to post and that's okay. And I enjoy making those holiday videos for you all. And I'm gonna do that again this year. So if y'all have any requests, go ahead and request them to me in the comment section and I'll try my best to get to them. Now I don't get to every single message, okay? But I'll try my best, okay? I have so many people, you couldn't understand how many people message me. But I'll try my best, make sure you get that seasoning into the cavity. Get in there, baby. Mm-hmm, better make you some. All right, get all this goodness. We used it all, and I'm so happy. Now, this oil is gonna make your skin of these Cornish hands nice. I'm washing my hands. That oil, whether you use oil or butter, it's gonna make the skin of your bird nice, beautiful, and crispy. And people are gonna say, my goodness, it's beautiful. They're gonna say, how did you get the skin that crispy? And you're gonna tell them the oil or the butter, whichever you decided to use. I'm almost done washing my hands. Like I said, if you're that person that wants to put a little bit of citrus in the inside of the cavity, you just pull the legs up, okay? Just pull the legs up right here, just like so, and stuff you. Don't, don't put like a whole lemon in there, just a slice will do. It'll give off a lot of flavor. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our baking dish. My hands are impeccably clean. 
I have a nine by 12. And then we are going to put our birds right into the baking pan. Okay, we have the wings pinned back. You're just gonna put them in here, nestle them. If you wanted to take some kitchen twine and tie the legs together, by all means you can do that, okay? I have some kitchen twine and I'll show you all how to do one if you're curious. You know, a lot of people are curious, how do you do that? But it's really, it's really simple. Okay, I don't try to do a fancy tie with the kitchen twine. I just literally tie it and cut it. Okay, if you wanted to use a bigger baking dish, you better believe you can, okay? But this right here always gets four in for me. Aren't these, these have to be like the cutest little things, right? They're so cute and you just wanna like, they're so sweet. <laughs> I get crazy in here, guys. What's wrong with you, girl? I tell you what's wrong. I'm having so much fun. I'm having the time of my life in this kitchen. Now, let me grab the kitchen twine, wash my hands once again. I'll be right back. You all must have thought I forgot. I didn't forget, almost forgot, but God is so good. God was not gonna let me forget my, fa my favorite ingredient. Girl, you can't forget your favorite ingredient. Look at that. Get it on there, it's gonna give you an amazing flavor, okay, and a beautiful color, okay? Then I'm gonna take them up by their little legs, and I wanna get seasoning down into, absolutely, I need to get another pack. Beautiful sazon going on. I tell you what, God is good all the time, and all the time, you all finish the sentence. Look at that, beautiful. Get right in there, give me some good seasoning, baby, and some good color at that. Okay, so now what I like to do, I like to put a little tiny bit of water in the bottom of my pan. It's not gonna be a lot. Okay, let's see how much I'm putting. A half a cup will do you. Don't pour it over don't pour it over top of all of the spice you worked so hard for. Just pour it right down in the bottom, okay? It's just gonna help it to not stick, but then it'll start to cook and release its own juice so that it won't stick. This is going in the oven 350 degrees, and we'll come back and we'll baste it a few times. And what I mean by baste it is we'll take some of that beautiful juices in the bottom, and we're gonna pour it all over the top of this beautiful Cornish hen. I'll be back. Okay, everyone. So when I noticed, when I noticed that I forgot the kitchen twine, I was just remembering that I forgot <laughs> the sazon. But it's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how you would do it if this is what your kitchen twine looks like. Normally, it's hanging on like an end cap of your local market, okay? So, or you can find it in a kitchen gadget set. What you would do, just cut you a piece, a little piece, okay? And if this were the legs that were separate, you just tie it, okay? Let's see if I can tie it this way, all right? Cause some people, I'm, guys, seriously, some people would be like, you forgot to show us. And I'm not going to make them because I don't know how to put the kitchen twine on and I really want it to. So I'm going to show you all on my fingers. <laughs> There's people out there, trust me. All right, so if those were the legs, you just tie them together, just like so. Really quick and simple, right? You keep the legs together like this. You can make, you can do the legs this way and tie them, or you can do them like this, okay? That's it. You just tie a regular knot onto the legs. Okay, everyone, you can see our Cornish hens in the oven. They're starting to look amazing and they're smelling great already. I just wanted to show you um, what I'm having on the side. We're gonna have some lovely mashed potatoes. Look at that butter. Who doesn't love that nice pull of butter in there? Beautiful, fluffy mashed potatoes. 
and then we're gonna have some amazing string beans that are so flavorful on the side, okay? Let's go ahead and say a prayer over our beautiful food because when this comes out the oven, I'm going to be ready to plate it and dig right in. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for today and forevermore. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, your love, time, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Lord, I can't do anything in life without you. I need you in our lives. Please forgive us for our sins. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head, the food and the love and the joy and the peace that you bring us daily. Lord, I thank you for my marriage. I thank you for my subscribers and my viewers. I pray that no weapons formed against my subscribers and viewers shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I pray that no weapons formed against the young shall prosper in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over my subscribers in Jesus' name. Devil, you are bound away from my subscribers in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this beautiful meal today. Amen. Okay, everybody, it's getting a little late. It's 8.30 p.m. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a spoon, and I'm going to go in right where those beautiful juices are, and I'm going to baste those juices all over our birds. Our birds are almost done. Okay, everybody, look at these beautiful Cornish hens. One hour and 40 minutes, 350 degrees, and we basted them two times with all of that beautiful broth that was in the bottom. Now, I've poured off some of the broth, and I'm going to save that broth, and I'm going to make some dressing tomorrow, and I'm going to use that broth to pour in my dressing. Listen here. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's try this. We've already said an amazing prayer. Let's give this a try right now. And what you want to do... Do like I do. I do this with my turkeys and my chickens. I just slice right between the thigh and the leg, and when the juices run nice and clear, it's done, okay? You can use a meat thermometer as well, but that's the trick that I always like to do because if you open that up and the juices are pink, then baby, you better keep cooking it. Let's grab one of these bad boys, put it on this plate with those beautiful mashed potatoes and seasoned green beans, and let's dig in right now. Take a look at this, everybody. Just take a look. Look how beautiful, nice, and glossy. It's glossy because we basted it with that beautiful juice. Oh, and look how well seasoned. And don't forget to use the Sazon. That Sazon is going to give you amazing flavor and a beautiful color, right? Look at that. Let's dive in right now. <laughs> My mouth is watering. I've waited long enough. We're having a late dinner tonight. A late dinner. You cannot forget those King Hawaiian rolls. That's what I have here. I have the buttered ones. We're gonna slice right down the middle. Look at this. Oh, and look, it cuts like butter. Oh, listen here. This breast is gonna be so juicy. Just wait until I slice this. Just wait. Look at this beautiful meat. I want you to see just how tender. I can't hold it for long because it's really hot. Look how beautifully seasoned. Nice and crispy, nice crispy skin. Look at this, we're gonna try this right now. Look how white, look how white the meat is. No pink, well done and beautifully seasoned. Taste that and let me know what you think. We've already said our prayer. You dive in right now. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm. So, gone, that's good, Do you hear me? And that's the white meat. It's so flavorful. It's so moist and so tender. Whoo-wee, that bad boy is good right there. Taste that right there. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 
Oh, I'm so satisfied. Look at that. Beautiful. Here's what you do. You take you some potatoes. You better believe it. You take you some potatoes. Take a bite of that roll. Mmm. Mmm. And then you take a bite of that meat. Those potatoes. Mmm. 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 Ooh, that's in here. Mmm. 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 This Cornish hen right here. Mmm. Is to absolute die for. It's easy, quick and simple. Does not require a lot of ingredients. This is something you might want to put on your holiday table. If you're not for all of the meat that, you know, comes with a large turkey or the ham, make you a couple of these. Gee whiz, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, God, it is so good. And this one right here, mm, this is all mine. Mm -hmm. I'm about to sit down and really enjoy this. You hear me? Mm. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night.